milk most of us loved milk as a kid you know good for the bones your parents will say to drink milk because it has calcium in it because you want it to grow taller and then about a year ago i started to get into testosterone maxing and i would watch videos all day about testosterone that's why i'm so knowledgeable of it now it's because back then i'd watch every single video about testosterone and how to boost it and stuff and I remember Hamza posted a video. This is when he would do unfiltered, when he stopped with the Jeffrey Adonis. He would do long form content and it was foods to avoid, you know, for high testosterone. And I remember milk was on there and he, he made the analogy saying kids will drink uh, milk out of like plastic cartons and they would have way more estrogen than before. And I just got shocked and I just believed it because obviously <laughs> you motherfuckers and me as well, not all of you, but... We looked up to Hamza a lot. The video was like eight, nine months ago. A lot of stuff could change in the span of eight, nine months. So I kind of just looked up to him. So anything he would tell me, I will not fact check myself. I would just believe him, basically. And I would just search up, is milk estrogenic? And then he would say on the first thing, there was one study that showed that kids drank some milk and they got more estrogen. And you might have guessed it, no. Milk doesn't actually increase your estrogen unless you use it with sugary cereals or some shit, which you should not be eating, just drink the milk itself. So we all fell for it, let's be real. I'm being honest with you guys. I fell for it as well. I believe milk had estrogen in it up until very recently, maybe about three months ago. This is how I learned the lesson. Don't blindly trust influencers. There's a term called cherry picking for a reason. It's like this. You watch a video of Hamza, and he says that milk is estrogenic. And you now believe that milk is estrogenic. So you search up on Google or Safari, or whatever, is milk estrogenic. You find one study showing that increased estrogen. And now you believe it, saying it's fact checked. So you believe the thing before you actually look at the studies, which is completely wrong way to do it. Because you, then you just, you forget about all the other studies showing how healthy milk is for you. So there are hormones in milk. And I'm not saying there isn't. There is estrogen in milk, but there is also testosterone in milk. Right before I show a photo, we have to talk about this. When most people say estrogen, they don't just talk about estrogen. Estrogen is a bigger umbrella term for female sex hormones. So testosterone and estrogen is not opposite of each other. That's not how it works. The opposite of estrogen is androgen. Androgens are all of the male sex hormones. So testosterone, DHT, DHDA, those are all androgens. And there's a lot of stuff that are estrogens. And the strongest form of estrogen that we all talk about that actually gives any effect is estradiol. That is the strongest form of estrogen. And then we got estrone, the weakest form of estrogen. Barely comes into effect. So as you can see, estradiol is actually quite low. It has more estrone than estradiol. But estrogen is the weakest estrogen. Also, you can see milk has more testosterone than it does estrogen. Plus, another thing, only 3-5% to of the estradiol and estrogen gets inside the body anyways. Think of how low that is. And I did the calculation for you. To see any bad estrogen effect in your body, you need to be drinking 68 to 400 litres of milk a day. Well, obviously, if you get to that level, obviously, it's going to be bad for you. But that's with any fucking food. Eggs are really good for you. But if you eat 50, 60 eggs a day, that's a fucking problem. Even if it's good for you. Everything is an inverted U-curve. You need to find the perfect middle. And if you're thinking, oh, what about organic milk versus conventional milk? Surely there must be a difference. Well, conventional milk and organic milk had actually around the same estradiol. Organic milk actually had a bit more estradiol than conventional milk. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna do any effect into your body. And we saw that like goat milk had three times less estradiol than those two. If you're too scared about this and you don't believe me, you can go believe Hamza, but you could just drink goat milk instead if you really don't believe me. And the reason why goat milk is better is A1 casein milk can actually cause a lot of problems for people. So I recommend you get A2 casein milk. So yeah, we debunked this myth. No, 
milk doesn't cause you to get big tits. No, milk doesn't cause you to have higher estrogen. So next time, when a YouTuber tells you something, go look it up yourself. Don't believe them. I'm not saying Hobbs is a bad person here. He probably still thinks that milk is estrogenic. Very good chance he's not lying to you guys, but that's what he believes. They're not always right. These people you look up to as gods. Whatever Hamza says, I have to do. He doesn't know everything. So, especially if you're a teenager, drink your milk. You're growing here. So yeah, that's been the end of the video. Let's become strong men again in a weak society. Bye.